But what we're going to do is show you around the outside of the vehicle, the inside, and then we're going to go on a test drive and show you just how well this CX-5 handles. So new for the 2016 model, the Kodo design style has stuck, but they have updated the LED front headlights as well as the fog light surrounds. 19-inch titanium wheels will now be different for the 2016 model on the Grand Touring Edition. Found inside the vehicle, cabin noise has been reduced by over 10% on the highway, which over the 2015 model does make quite a big difference. Inside, I'd like to show you rear legroom as well as cargo capacity for if you're hauling the kids to soccer practice or maybe heading up north to the cabin for the weekend. So now we're in the rear seat behind the driver's seat where I'm about 6'1", and I promise you I haven't moved the seat at all where I comfortably drove. You'll notice that the indent in the roof line comes up, so when your passengers are in the back, they'll have plenty of room. So again, this is the Grand Touring all-wheel drive model, and it's featured at 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Like I said, if you're doing cabin trips, you might need that extra space to haul your cooler, your camping gear, any of that stuff as well. There's these really nice handles on the side that if you pull these, you can individually fold down each seat or even the middle one by itself. All right, so we're in the 2016 Mazda CX-5. Again, this is the Grand Touring Edition. This one does have the technology package. So right off the bat, things you're gonna notice are almost that Audi German design style, MMI sort of driver select mode down here. The touchscreen isn't available when you're moving, so that's when you'd have to use this or the steering wheel controls, but that's okay for me, because as soon as you stop, you can go right back to the touchscreen. So driving dynamics, when you're behind the wheel, I don't feel like I'm in a sport utility vehicle. I feel like I'm more driving a Mazda 3. I like that ride style design. The steering isn't too heavy. I'll take a good corner here. It's heavy enough where you have feedback and response, but not where it feels so light that you're driving a 66 Pontiac around. I, I think it has the right ride and feel to it. What I see behind the wheel, the first thing you're gonna notice again is that screen. This one doesn't have the heads up display like the six and the three, but you know what, I'm okay with that. The gauge cluster is very simple. Uh, the Japanese have hit it right on the head with this car in that they designed this to be not more than it needs to be. You have distance to empty, outdoor temperature, and then as well, you're just gonna have your speedometer intact. You know, the, the drive in this car, if, if one of my friends called me tomorrow and said, hey, I'm looking for a sport utility vehicle. What should I look for? The CX-5 is my first go-to every time. And I think that's because I like the way it rides. I like the fuel economy. I like the comfort you get with these seats. I know I mentioned before that they did update the seats a little bit. I love them. I mean, they're, they're not too hard. They're not too soft. It feels like you could definitely spend some time behind the wheel. I mean, there's no wind noise. I, I didn't get out on the highway, but driving on the highway earlier, I mean, you, you just feel comfortable. There's, there's room in the back, you can haul things around. I mean, all-wheel drive is nice as well. For those Minnesota winter conditions, I know I can't test that today because it's about 75 degrees and sunny, but these do handle well in the snow. I've spent plenty of time behind this, the Nissan, Honda, Toyota, I mean, you've driven just about everything, and this one is one of the most fun to drive in the snow with the traction control, stability control, and all that added safety features as well that you get in this car. I mean, it's great. I think the CX-5, they hit it right on the head. You know, I've, I've read a lot of reviews on this car and I have noticed that most people say it's, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's easy to drive, you don't get lost behind the wheel, and I completely agree with all of that. On behalf of Maury's Mazda, thank you for watching our 2016 Mazda CX-5 overview. To schedule your test drive, stop by your nearest Maury's Mazda location. Thanks for watching and make sure you buy happy.